Hey YouTube, JW. Back with you with another edition of Retro Knives. Today we got a really cool one. Uh, it is the Hackman Finwin Butterfly Knife, or the CIA Butterfly Knife. Uh, this was designed by Tapio, or Tapio Wakala. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce that right, in Finland. Um, it was issued to CIA operatives a standard CIA issue in 1960s during operations in Southeast Asia and the Vietnam War. Uh, it was placed in survival kits for their field operatives. And I have a picture of that I'll show right now. I got this from a, a gentleman who bought it at an estate sale. And supposedly the estate sale was a guy who retired from the government. So... Whether it actually was in uh, Vietnam or not, I don't know, but it is an original from what I gather from that period. Um, it was imported to the U.S. by Garcia U.S. as a camp knife, as the Hackman camp knife. Uh, it is a solid knife, I mean, uh, and it's just cool. I mean, the fact that special units and CIA operatives... Uh, during that era in time, which is always interesting anyway, you know, the CIA Vietnam type era, and um, which I know a little bit about. My wife's grandmother got remarried about 10 years ago, and uh, her husband was a CIA, uh, in the CIA during the 1960s during Vietnam, and he worked with special weapons development chemical weapons and uh the guy is really old i mean he now he's like 85 years old so uh, he told me some stories about some stuff that uh pretty scary uh, what the cia is involved in but i digress pretty cool knife razor sharp let's test the sharpness on this dog guys Well, considering it still has the factory edge from about 1965, I'd say she's held a pretty good edge. As far as what steel that is on here, I really couldn't tell you. I'm not an expert on finished knives, but I'm sure somebody, it would be easy enough to find out. Um... Like I said, if you want to get one of these, look on eBay. I mean, there's some places like Roadside Imports that have it for sale for about $180, and that's mint. Um, I did receive a sheath with this knife, but it was not the original. It was just some sheath the person had. I don't think they knew a whole lot about knives. I just uh, threw it away, honestly. But this, uh, I got a pretty good deal on this. I paid about 60 bucks for this. Uh, I think it was pretty good. I cleaned it up a little bit. It was a little bit dirty. Um, it really is just a cool knife, and it was one that was on my bucket list to pick up when the right one came along. And all the ones I had seen, uh, check eBay. Um, there is some newer ones that are made. Like I said, uh, some of them have clear handles. I've seen purple handles, and it uh, looks like the red handle ones are sold out. And it looks like, from what I've seen, um, the newer one, now, I don't know. Normark, uh, I talked to a guy from the U.K., and uh, he also uh, had told me that Normark, uh, Sweden, had made a knife like this, but it had black handles. Now, let me look in my chest here real quick. Sorry, I don't pre prepare for my videos. I just fly by the seat of my vintage pants. Uh, I have this knife here, which uh, it just says stainless uh, Taiwan. But as you can see, it's the same. It's the same design as as this one here. So um, really, that is. It's a, it was designed after a butterfly knife, but it's not really a butterfly knife. It's just, uh, you can't flip it around, but uh, 
solid knife. You could use it. Uh, as you can see, this one has been used. There's some light scratching on the blade there in a little bit. Um, but uh, the factory edge is still on here. It's never been on a stone. And it's still razor sharp, but with the grind like this has, and that thin grind, um, that clip point drops down to a V V grind there, steps down, goes all the way down. There's really no, there's no micro bevel on there. It's uh, flat ground. And uh, this one, this one's about the same, but uh, I mean, for, for instance, this one's razor sharp. This one, I mean, won't do hardly shit. So, I mean, this is probably just 440 stainless. So I don't know what this is, but it's a good steel nevertheless. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end this one. I'm just kind of rambling on. Um, pretty cool knife. Glad to add it to the collection. I've been wanting to get one for a while. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Tuning in for another episode of Retro Knives, and uh, I'll see you soon. Have a good one.